already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up, we'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, we've got the tower and it's with the king of pentacles. Now the tower card, it can actually, it can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you've counted on has, as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now this does not have to be drastic because we all know that change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. But that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams. If some fantasies do fall apart. Just keep in mind, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, the tower is with the King of Pentacles, which speaks of tradition, authority, success, and money matters. Because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. So when the, this card appears in a reading, it's actually a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick, but it's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this card stands for an actual person in your life. It can refer to a very masculine type. He could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If it's referring to an actual man or a person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Absolutely. King of Pentacles success. Could be career focus, secure, committed is the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles also makes a really, really good father. Very stable type. So your recent past energy, the tower, clarified by the King of Pentacles for you and your person. So yeah, I'm getting that your person, Pisces. They wanted to make the connection stable with you. They wanted to secure it, possibly, make it more committed. Um, they wanted, your person wanted su success with you. But it looked like some things happened, and it started to fall apart. You know, with the tower there, it just it felt like it was going downwards instead of going upwards. But just know your person really wanted the connection to be, to be a success. But something happened. It just felt like it was, it felt like it was falling apart. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Eight of Wands and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or it could be personally. Either way, it's a really good thing. Now it's with the Eight of Wands. Which show, it's showing that there's... A lot of things up in the air when you get the eight of wands. Yeah. So you could feel frustrated, tired of waiting, but this card is actually an indicator to be patient a while longer. Maybe you've already done all that you can do now. Decisions 
they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things, because it could backfire on you. Speaking metaphorically, sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So coming up, Pisces, for you and your person, Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Wands. So yeah, like I said, your person, and I'm getting, I'm getting it was you also, but your person, they really wanted the connection to work for it to su succeed but certain things happen and it, it just felt like it was not going up it was coming down it was crashing it was crashing and burning that's what it felt like but coming up there's a lot I'm getting a lot of communication here with this eight of wands back and forth back and forth call me back Let's talk at eight. Call me now. Call me later. Let's talk. Let's talk. A lot of back and forth communication. If it hasn't already happened, it's coming. And it looks like your person is going to want to reconnect. Get things back on track. Make things feel like a new beginning again. Start all over with the Ace of Pentacles. Give it a fresh new start. Yeah. So, something could start again, which could be very promising when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Be prepared. Think positive. So... Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Three of Swords, and it's with the King of Wands. Now, the Three of Swords, there's an element of sorrow when you get this card. It's not a pretty card. It's really, oh, it's so, it's ugly. Is that a heart? Yeah, that's a heart with three swords in it. And it's got a flame at the bottom. Yeah, that's a really ugly picture. But anyway, there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get the Three of Swords. What's on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card, it can point to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to fully experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow, wallow in grief or sadness or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. Three of Swords is with this King of, King of Wands. King of Wands can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is positive. Even when he does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that you might have, have men around you who are supportive of you and think really well of you. So, you'll be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So, your challenge, Pisces. Three of Swords clarified by this King of Wands. So, yeah, with all this back and forth talk and communication, you're realizing that you still care. You still care about this person, even though you guys had a big tower moment with the talk, the talk and the communication. It's making you realize that you care, probably care more than you know, even though you you still feel hurt sometimes by whatever caused the tower moment. 
Yeah, a lot of times you still feel the pain with this Three of Swords here, but you still care. Yeah, if that's what you're realizing. You still care about the person and you still want the connection. Any person, they, they still want success with you. And the talk, you two are talking about trying to make this connection work. Trying to give it a fresh new start. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Seven of Swords. Ends with the High Priestess. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can indicate someone who could be behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, you could be right. Or if you feel like digging through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who has given you cause for concern, then you might want to resist the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Now to the High Priestess, the High Priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. The High Priestess is tied to the moon, tied to femininity, tied to inspiration. So this is actually a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. So it's important to pay attention to any dreams that you have coming up. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, it's a magical, mystical time when you get the High Priestess. For love, especially. Yeah, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. But the problem with that is that you'll attract all kinds of good. You'll attract the bad and the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. <laughs> so, Pisces coming up. Seven of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. So what I'm getting is that, like I said, this connection, it seems like it's, it's needing a fresh coat of paint. That's the, the words that first came to mind. And your person is willing to buy the paint and you're willing to do the painting. Yeah, you both have emotions for each other, strong emotions. Some tower moment just came in and knocked you two on the ground, but it looks like you you two are willing to to rebuild. Make it more realistic, make to rebuild in a realistic way. Yeah, maybe before you guys had some type of fantasy of what the connection would be. With the Tower card, it's, it can be good because your eyes are, you're enlightened by the, the disaster. You're enlightened by whatever fell apart. So you're seeing everything clearly now. You're no longer viewing things or viewing the situation or the connection. With rose-tinted glasses, you see everything for what it is. But like I said, the King of Wands here is, is King of Wands is here. And you still care. King of Pentacles is here. Your person still wants to succeed with you. Yeah, a new beginning is on the horizon for the two of you. Now, the outcome... Is showing that uh, you're not just listening to what your person is saying. You kind of you be you be doing a lot of watching. Yeah, it's kind of like they're under a. Um, it's like you're testing them now, just to see 
what they say. Are they going to put their words into action this time? So you're doing more watching than more watching than anything. You might even you might find yourself stalking them. Not in a bad way, but just to see if they're going to walk the walk and talk the talk. That's what the Seven of Swords is yeah, watching. Stalking. And you're kind of like, you, you're going to be like the High Priestess. You're going to just be sitting pretty. The High Priestess can go silent. The High Priestess will go silent on you. Just sit pretty. And you, because you're with the Seven of Swords there, you're going to be watching your person big time, heavily, to see if they're going to keep their word, to see if they really, really want a new beginning. Because it shows with the Three of Swords, you're still hurt by whatever happened that caused the Tala moment. So you're not 100% in it. You realize that you still care, but you you want you want proof that your person really, really really wants this. So like I said, you probably will go silent. It looks like you're still in it, but you're not talking as much. You're doing more watching than you are talking. Yeah. They, what they say, the proof is in the pudding. So, yeah, you're keeping tabs on your person. You want to see if if they really, really mean what they say, that they want a new beginning, a fresh new start. So, Pisces, good luck with that. That was your reading. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen to the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be reversed. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you join me for the next reading. I hope to see you then. I hope you have a great day. Happy holidays and take care.